What is going on, New York Giants fans? I'm on my way into work. Otherwise, I would have filmed this on the laptop. Didn't have enough time to uh, put my free agency video up, but I felt the need to get this up immediately. As now we have received word that the first, second, and third wide receivers are missing time. Shepard, we think, will be back before the start of the season from the reports that came out yesterday from Pat Shermer. He said he's not too worried about it. We're going to have to continue to monitor that situation. Of course, Corey Coleman is out for the year with a torn ACL. Now, Golden Tate will miss the first quarter of the season. Due to a failed drug test. Performance enhancing drugs. So that's our top three wide receivers now are not playing in camp. Not to mention Darius Slayton with his tweaked hamstring. So right now on the Giants step chart, you have Reggie White Jr. You have Latimer. You, you, you have Benny Fowler. You have Mr. Bad Dog. And you have the entertainer. That's how thin they are right now. I just got a call from the Giants before I made this video to play slot. But on a serious note... Uh, the Giants are going to have to scour the free agency market. They, they have to. I can't paint a rosy picture here. This is not a good start to the season. It is not looking up, coming off eight wins in our last two years. And now, I get it, you know, that you may have a couple injuries to start camp, but to all be at the same position, a position in which you traded away Odell Beckham at the start of the year and knew that you were going to be a little more thin at to begin with, and now our top three guys have either suffered injuries or have been suspended because they take steroids. What is Golden Tate thinking? What is he thinking? We just signed this guy to, what, a $9.5 million a year contract, and he goes out, he takes uh, HGH. So now he's going to miss the first quarter of the season. It is not looking good uh, as for the New York Giants so far this year. Hopefully they can fix this. Hopefully they can find some guys on free agency. Hopefully Shepard gets back to full strength. There's a couple of names out there. I'll talk about them tonight. Crabtree is one of them. He's a guy that I'd be interested in, a veteran. He is 32 years old. But the Giants have to find somebody. They, they can't go into they, – they can't start the season – with with these wide receivers, they just can't do it. It's not fair to Eli in his last season. I mean, Eli Manning struggles enough to begin with. You give him these guys, I mean, like I said, they're going to be taking calls off the street. It's going to be like the replacements. That's how thin they are right now at the wide receiver position. And the Giants have to find a way to write this and, and get this going. I don't know what else to say. Sometimes, it's, it, I, I never use injuries as an excuse. I never will. And there's no excuse here. This guy just took steroids. But this is tough right now. This is tough news to take as a Giants fan. I tried to go into the year very optimistic, and um, not a good start. Not not a good start for our team. Again, one thing I will say, on a glass-half-full approach, at least it's happening at the beginning, so the Giants have time to recover. But I don't know if there's going to be any recovering from this. Hopefully there is. Hopefully the Giants can get their head on straight. But to be without your top two wide, three wide receivers, potentially four with Slayton in camp right now as it's getting underway, not looking good as I'm sweating in my car. I got to get to work, guys, but I wanted to get the news up. As always, if you liked what you watched, please subscribe, drop a comment, maybe give me a little thumbs up. Cheers.